Uh, my name is uh, Norman Redwing Jr. I'm from the Sistan and Wapnam Sioux Tribe. My dad's name is Norman Redwing Sr. We are a people. We come from three different Oshpaye, Sisi Tuan, Wakpetuan, Wakpekute, Oshpaye. Together we we make the tribe. We say Dakota Oyate, but the Oyate is one people. That includes the other bands of the Sioux Nation. The aquifer that's underneath it is not renewable. It doesn't replenish itself other than through runoff. The amount of water that's being used there is estimated around a million gallons of water per day. Approximately 835,000 acres of water that's underneath in the Veblen aquifer. And it's not a continuous aquifer. The amount of waste and manure coming from the amount of cattle there, anywhere from two to two and a half million pounds of manure per day. We're living, breathing, seeing our water and our land, and we don't connect with it as much as we used to and as much as we should. The amount of E. coli in a fresh water source that's there, what we call a coliform unit, averages around 235 CFUs. When it was tested, it was 43,520. The Shortfoot Creek runs about 200 feet behind Veblen Flats. That's a direct water source that's always been there. If that gets contaminated, you're talking about contaminating our people right there on, on. And this contamination is in violation of the tribe, the Sistan Wapan Sioux Tribe Clean Air and Water Act chapter, tribal codes. What the problem is is that uh, people are keeping quiet uh, you do have instances of skin rashes, like uh, MRSA infections that are happening around in that area. I can't say it is a direct result of that, but if the cattle farm wasn't there, um, these kinds of things won't be happening in, within that community, especially to the elderly and the, and the children. And the land that we live on here, I think is super important to our people and it's pretty much like the basis of who we are it's everything we have is like located on this land we have all of our medicines here we have everything we need here we have like the animals who live here they're like essential to who we are as Dakota people and the same thing with the water like I believe that our water is super important if we don't have water we don't have life so our water is like the top of the list for things that we need and the things that we should be protecting. The Little Minnesota River is being directly affected by the Caffel farm itself, by the Veblen Dairy Farm. Because of the continental divide, water actually can flow north and it does flow south and it reaches into the Minnesota Lake and into the aquifers that are connected to the Mississippi. The perception is that uh, if you don't say anything, people aren't going to notice. Every human being has a right to health to have clean air, clean water. Weblin Dairy Ed Mini Ota Hash Ota e Chupi Dokchun Dokchun Heche Dweka Stat Haro Unre Unyuhapta Ish Asampi Unre Unyuhapta It's easier to get things done in South Dakota or North Dakota or in other rural states. All they want to do is make more money. The, the greed is what drives that. With the help of our native sovereignty, I think it's time that we say something.
It's time that we make a stand against that because you're talking three, two or three generations from now where our children won't even be able to play outside but it's a very difficult future for our great-grandchildren, great-great-grandchildren. So we need to say something together. <laughs>